Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're talking all about audio recording and microphones. Now, if you've heard any audio on my channel in the past two years or so, be it me talking to camera like this or doing a voiceover on top of some B-roll footage, it's most likely been recorded on this microphone here. This is the Samson C01. Here's the microphone itself. It's quite a chunky mic and it connects via XLR on the bottom here. As I said, I've been using this for a while and it's a great microphone, but it connects via XLR, which can be a bit of a hassle because when it comes to recording audio, I need to have either my Zoom audio recorder or I need to plug it into an audio interface and then into my computer if I ever want to capture any sound, which it just takes more time and it's actually quite a big microphone to travel around with, especially if I want to carry it in my camera bag to say an exhibition or a trade show. So I wanted to look for a better solution. Now when it comes to picking a USB kind of studio condenser podcast or microphone, there are loads of options out there. However, the two main things that I had in mind was something that was not only going to give me decent audio quality, but also be portable and more importantly, affordable. I want good audio quality on a budget. So I think I found my solution. This is the BC Master BCM1610 USB. Catchy name. So inside the box, you actually get a plastic hard carry case with a nice BC Master logo on either side. When we go ahead and open up the box, inside we have the microphone itself, we have a USB cable, we have a tripod and a little windshield. So let's take the microphone out of its case and have a little look at it. Now, first thing you're gonna notice is the unit is actually fully metal construction. There's not a single piece of plastic on here. Metal grill, metal body, and nice high quality metal switches. I'll explain what those switches are for in just a minute. First of all, one thing I really like about this is the size. If we compare it here to my Samson microphone, you can see here the BC Master is a lot smaller. Much smaller body, much more slender and sleek, and it's also much lighter. Definitely a big weight difference between the two here. If we take a look at the connections on the microphone, we have a single USB connection on the bottom, which you can connect into a Mac or Windows computer. Also on the body, above the nice clean BC Master logo, you'll see we have some switches. First of all, we have a low cut filter switch. This allows you to enable a low cut on the microphone to get rid of those lower, bassier sounds. So you get a nice, more kind of crisp and even sound without any of the low kind of pops in the audio. On the right hand side, we also have a minus 10 dB switch. So if the source you're recording is much louder, say instead of using this for your voice like a podcasting microphone, you're using this to record a musical instrument, say a guitar, and it's really loud, you can add that minus 10 dB pad. Now one important thing to note is that basically your sound card that is capturing the audio, turning the analog signal into a digital signal is inside the microphone itself. And you'll see there are no actual gain controls anywhere on the microphone. So this is a kind of studio condenser style microphone with a cardioid pickup pattern. And that means it picks up sound more from one side and rejects sound coming from the other. You can see a little diagram of a standard cardioid pickup pattern on the screen now. So this microphone is mainly used for recording your voice, doing things like voiceover, podcasting, or singing. Now, obviously the most important question when it comes to a microphone is the audio quality. And that's what we're gonna to put to the test now. So I've got the BC Master microphone plugged in via USB into my Mac, capturing the audio via Adobe Audition. Now I'm gonna test this microphone against my standard mic, the Samson C01, connected via XLR into a Zoom H4n audio recorder. Now it's time to give you a proper audio test. You can see here, I'm about 20 centimeters away from the microphones and we're gonna start with the BC Master here. So now the audio you're hearing is straight from the BC Master captured into Adobe Audition. The low cut filter is turned off and the minus 10 dB gain is turned off as well. So this is an idea of audio quality on the BC Master. And now we're switched over to the Samson C01 Studio Condenser Microphone. This is plugged into the Zoom H4n and is recording straight onto the SD card there. Stepping slightly further back now, you can see that I am approximately 30 to 40 centimeters away from the microphones. This is the BC Master. You can hear here the audio of me talking 30 to 40 centimeters away from the mic. It's important to note that I haven't done any EQ or any adjustments to the audio in post. So this is the raw audio from the microphones. 
This is now the Samson, same distance, around 30 to 40 centimeters. This is me speaking at a normal volume into the microphone. Now, one thing I have noticed is when you get very close to the BC Master microphone and talk very loudly, I can see that it's clipping at around minus three dBs. So if I enable that minus 10 dB pad, I can now be much closer to the microphone and talk into it at a loud volume without the microphone clipping. The Samsung CO1, however, we can see the audio starting to clip. So I need to go ahead and adjust that on my audio recorder here, bring the gain down a touch. And you can see now this is me talking about four or five centimeters away from the microphone. This is the Samsung CO1 and this is the BC Master. Both have had their gains reduced so that you can hear them at a lower level. And just for reference, this is me talking into the BC Master microphone with no uh, minus 10 dB pad and with no low cut filter. And now I'm gonna go ahead and enable the low cut filter. This is me talking into the BC Master microphone with the low cut filter enabled. So in terms of the best audio quality, I've really got to give it to the Samsung CO1. The audio is just that little bit crisper with a little bit less noise. However, the BC Master does produce very nice audio considering how affordable the microphone is. Now, while these microphones are very similar in price to buy, the Samsung CO1 is literally just a microphone with an XLR connection on the bottom, whereas the BC Master is a microphone, it's an audio interface, and the USB connection into your computer. The money being spent to make these microphones is being focused in different areas, obviously. The BC Master suffers slightly in audio quality because the money is being spent on including that audio interface. So you can just plug it straight into your computer. So as I said, in terms of audio quality, the CO1 comes out on top. But the BC Master seems like a great option for something more portable. If I'm traveling to a trade show, for example, and I want to record voiceover audio in the hotel room to cover the footage I filmed that day, I'll probably pack the BC Master in my suitcase, mainly because it's so much more compact, I don't need the separate audio recorder, I can just take the microphone, the stand and a USB cable. So that's just a quick review of this guy, the BC Master BCM1610 USB, catchy name. If you want to find out any more information about this guy, go check out the link in the description down below, which will take you to the Amazon page. But that's it for this video, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments down below, and as always, thanks for watching.